Hello everyone, Jason Warren with DT Met and I've got today's update on the upcoming winter storm. Uh, models have come into better agreement which increases confidence in the final outcome of the system. Uh, the track does appear as if it will come up through the lower Ohio Valley with a deepening storm somewhere over uh, northern, northern Ohio, the eastern Great Lakes. Uh, with the upper level low coming in underneath that through the Ohio Valley. Eventually the systems will become vertically stacked across the eastern Great Lakes and then traveling northward across eastern Canada, Quebec and Ontario and up toward James Bay. The greatest concern continues to be for very strong winds around the back side of the system uh, coming through the lower Great Lakes and upper Ohio Valley. Uh, Friday, especially during the afternoon and into the evening hours, where uh, a strong jet streak moving across the lower Great Lakes could mix down to the surface and allow for wind gusts in excess of 65 miles per hour. Uh, in addition, there will be brutally cold temperatures across much of the region from the central plains all the way to the east coast uh, behind the Arctic front. And we have wind chill warnings that are in effect from Washington, Idaho, and Montana all the way down to Alabama. Another concern that we have is the potential for an, an intense band of snow squalls to move through the lower Great Lakes and Ohio Valley along the Arctic cold front. Uh, here's the HRRR model and this is for late in the evening on the 22nd into the early morning of the 23rd. And it shows the cold front coming through the Ohio Valley with a band of rain showers ahead of it but quickly changing to snow showers as the uh, temperatures plummet. But as this band moves eastward, there could be a band of very intense snow showers along this cold front, possibly even um, a couple bolts of lightning with this uh, band as it moves through, and some very strong winds. Visibilities could quickly uh, be reduced to less than a quarter of a mile with very heavy snow and wind gusts in excess of 50 miles per hour with this band of snow as it moves through. And uh, this high resolution model shows this band getting in close to the uh, big cities of DC and Baltimore uh, by sunrise or shortly after sunrise um, on the 23rd. This band moving through uh, during the morning hours of the 23rd could create some very hazardous travel conditions on uh, a lot of the roadways across the mid-Atlantic area and the upper Ohio Valley early in the day on the 23rd. So if you have travel planned early in the day on Friday, be prepared for the potential for some blinding snow squalls uh, and rapidly falling temperatures and strong winds as this front comes through. Snowfall amounts are expected to be highest across the northern and central Great Lakes where there will be some lake enhancement around the backside of the system, especially across the northern portions of the UP of Michigan and across western portions of the lower peninsula. Some areas could see one to two feet of snow. Uh, and this includes places like Houghton over to Sault Ste. Marie and uh, along the west coast of the Lower Peninsula, uh, places like Traverse City down toward uh, the Grand Rapids area. And to the lee of uh, Lakes Erie and Ontario, uh, there will be a good setup for lake effect snow as the system moves northward and away from the area during the weekend. Uh, there could be some decent snow near and south of Buffalo and also over the Tug Hill Plateau and around the Watertown area of the east end of Lake Ontario. Elsewhere the snowfall amounts do not look overly impressive but it doesn't take much snow on the ground to create whiteout conditions when you have winds blowing 40 to 50 or even 60 miles per hour at times. The impacts that we expect across the region are basically the same as what we had put out yesterday. Very cold temperatures are expected across a large portion of the central and eastern United States with dangerously cold wind chills possibly down as low as minus 30 at times in some places and possibly even colder than that at times. A strong wind gusts could cause power outages Thursday through Friday night across the Great Lakes, Midwest and Ohio Valley and this is especially true across parts of lower Michigan, northern Indiana into northern Ohio where uh, especially Friday afternoon into Friday night winds could gust in excess of 65 miles per hour. Blowing and drifting snow will likely cause blizzard conditions over much of the Great Lakes as well as parts of the Midwest and Ohio Valley through the weekend. Even in areas that don't see the heaviest snowfall blowing and drifting snow could be a problem because of such strong winds and because the snow will be so dry and powdery. 
Uh, the heaviest snowfall is expected to fall across the northern and central Great Lakes, especially across the UP of Michigan, Michigan and western lower Michigan, where some areas could pick up one to two feet of snow. There will also be a heavy lake effect snow uh, on downwind of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario through the weekend uh, as the storm departs. This is going to be a high impact event and is going to cover a large geographical area. So we will likely go live at some point during the storm. So be sure to subscribe so you can get the latest updates as we post them and also be notified when we go live.